you know, when you're clerical, you're, you're just kind of stuck behind a desk all day long with a little typewriter at your side. I feel that there's a there's a new world out there for me. It's available to me anyway, and it never was before. My vision of the clerical mobility upward uh, training position is a chance for people who have been stuck in clerical positions to have the opportunity to get uh, some training and experience in a field that they would possibly go into other than clerical work. Well, as I understand the program, it's an opportunity for clerical people um, to get initiated into other fields of work, still within the city, of course. As I see it, it is exactly the opening of a, of a training program for women. It says clerical, but I'm going to uh, change that to women is the way I look at it. In the positions that they've never been allowed in, to actually prove, with proper training, to prove that they can do it. It's like on the job training, more or less. You get paid for learning, so it makes it all the more worthwhile to just go for it and try it. I see that it's an uh, opportunity for, for people in the clerical field to get the experience they need, to move on to something else. That's mainly what it provided for me, the experience. Before the program even began, I was looking for something other than what I was doing and not a clerical position because I had been in the unit four years and there was nothing else that I wanted to do. The types of jobs that were um, opened up in this upward mobility program were terrific, um, you know, right across the board without having to have a lot of um, really technical training behind them. They were very good positions. Uh, I, th I thought there must have been a lot of people who were, you know, could apply for them. I heard about it when the little flyer came around to all the offices and I kind of looked it over and at that point in my life I was really bored with what I was doing. I felt like I was at a dead end and I didn't have anything to look forward to. So uh, actually just for kicks I, I signed up for two of the positions on the program. Well, the flyers came out about the upward mobility program and uh, the different positions that were open. And uh, I think there were six. I'm not really sure. I like five out of six right immediately. Uh, I was ready for a change of pace. I wanted something with upward mobility, and uh, several things interested me that had not been open to women before, especially one that I could see. I just heard about it, I believe, through Bulletin, and uh, I was very interested in becoming a warehouser, just getting out of the clerical field. I wanted to, to do something that was more physical and active, rather than just being at a typewriter at a desk all day. I've always been interested in gardening. That's always been, uh, you know, what I do when I'm not at work, besides camping. But uh, as far as a work situation, I never had identified any particular thing that I would like to do with my career as such. And I've done clerical work and I disliked it, so I figured if there was something else that I could do um, that I had any kind of aptitude for, it'd be great. Well, gardening is something that I have a little aptitude at, and since it was offered for, I just, you know. I wouldn't say it's easier to a clerical position, it's um, mentally it's easier, physically it's harder. And in this job, it's more of what you know, you know, and I'm learning all the time, and I can apply it to what I do on the job. This is all physical, and it's a challenge, you know, when you're trying to figure out how far you can put your forks in to pick up something without getting the next object, and uh, it's, it's just a lot different. Physically, I didn't anticipate that I had the stamina or the physical strength to accomplish a lot of the tasks that I envisioned within the garden work. I'm involved in a lot of sports, and so the physical part wasn't too much of a change for me. Well, it's not the same old thing every day, every day, and 
And when you're done with the job, it's, you're done with it, you know, you start on something else. So it's always a change of pace. My own personal satisfaction is that I think I can do it. And I think I can do it well, not just do it. I think I can do it well. Well, you know, I thought warehouse, you know, I had visions of putting things on shelves and stuff like this. And so when I got out here, um, the first time I came out, you know, they were just kind of, it was an orientation type thing. And so they pointed to this great big forklift and they says, and you'll be driving this. And I went, oh my God. It really wasn't that hard a transition to take from the office um, to this type of life. Yeah, I felt comfortable from just about from the time I started. The first week was a little bit uh, uncomfortable, but it really became um, a natural thing to go to that floor and do that work. I just enjoy doing it, you know, doing whatever I can. Just being able to use my hands and uh, use some muscles or something and just do something, you know, other than, you know, just being confined to one spot. You're, you're mobile, you're on your feet. So it's, it's it's nice. I enjoy that. Sometimes I'd prefer different kinds of weather. We, you know, when we had 10 inches of snow on the ground, uh, yeah. that was kind of a bugger. It's really hazardous out there at times. You're, you have to climb over a lot of things to get to front doors, and uh, you have to climb over things to get to the meters, too. Working down in the nursery, and, and the mud is just deep down there, and I'm, it's getting a little, it gets a little hazardous getting used to that learning how to keep your balance and stuff like that. You know, the only thing is you can get hurt really easy if you don't pay attention. And you gotta pay attention a lot. We're very capable in many areas where we've never been allowed before. And uh, I'm not only just able to do, but I think, in fact, superior in many instances. It's more natural. It's more natural. You've just taken your own ability and when you're sure of yourself, you can do that job. You're just, it's just natural. The guys, they make it okay. These, these guys here, I haven't had any problems with them. I mean, any way at all. And they help me out a lot. I, it's, it's kind of like this stress over. You have to be able to take a lot of razzing. Uh, the guys are pretty nice, most of them. But you, you've got to be able to take it when they dish it out. Gardening is not a traditionally male-oriented um, occupation. Pay uh, having been paid for it, maybe, in the United States, but uh, many, many countries have de de depended upon their women to do the gardening. And I really don't think it's that male-oriented. I think it's absolutely great that all these positions are open, or be it the gardener, or the warehouse, and the machinist. Why can't a woman be a machinist? I think it's great. Uh, they're very good with their hands, usually. Mm -hmm. They've diapered the world and cooked for them and whatnot. They can do... Uh, a lot of fine points, and uh, yet it's been a man's job. I can't see why. My older relatives think I'm nuts okay. because they think, well, why do you want to leave a nice, warm, cozy office and go out where you're freezing all day long and uh, out in the weather all the time? But s the younger ones think it's really great, you know. I think, I think a lot of the, the younger people are motivated into getting to, into more physical type jobs. Yes, my relatives are super supportive. They, um, you know, this is what you want to do. Um, we'll help you. I already have offers of, you can come up and do my yard anytime you want. <laughs> my husband is really happy for me. Friends, I don't think it bothers them. I, <laughs> if it does, so what? Oh, my kids love it. I have two sons and uh, uh, they're very happy because I'm happy. And, uh, always nice to welcome home a happy mother. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the most beautiful valentine yesterday, and it has these little medals, stick-on medals, and this one of these medals says, um, Medal for Greatness, and then beside it says, For Going Into Gardens. <laughs> well, some of my friends uh, thought I was so feminine, feminine, and now I guess they're wondering. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't look too feminine the way I come to work now. I used to hate having to get dressed up in, in, uh, in the morning because all of my finances went for my daughter. And, you know, I hated going to the office in the clothes that I could afford to buy because I felt they weren't what I wanted, you know. I don't have to worry now. <laughs> I mean, grungy clothes are grungy clothes. <laughs> I started out on the program. I was excited about it. New, new change, new, new type of work, job. Mm -hmm. And it's something that I really wanted to do. And at that time, I also started on a diet. Okay. And so to this 
today I've lost 40 pounds since I've started on this program. There could be some disadvantages for some women. You know, they might not like to get dirty and oily and greasy. And I can't say that I miss my clerical job. I miss the people I worked with. I miss the people, but I don't miss the job at all. <laughs> I miss the people that I worked with a lot. And I, I call them occasionally just to see how things are going. But uh, I, I really don't miss the work a whole bunch. Well, in my other job, there were frustrations. So I may get up some mornings and really not, just not want to come to work, you know. But in this job, I never think about not wanting to come to work. I'm really anxious to get up and come to work. I always felt that I could do something a little more than what I was doing. Um, a little more, this, this is partly physical, the fact that you run around and whatnot. I felt I could do that, and it has allowed me to, to do that part of it. Um, but it has opened up uh, new, new horizons, you might say. And as a clerical worker, you can dream about it, but it never happens. I'm more ambitious. A lot more ambitious. I think it, you know, for myself, it'd be a good career. It's sort of, maybe not as a career, a long-term career, but maybe as a stepping stone onto something else. I don't now know of any place that I could have gotten that experience, and except quitting my job and going into another job. It would have been very hard to get this type of training that I'm receiving, but I could have spent a lot of long hours at, you know, attending a class three hours, two times a week for maybe 10 years <laughs> and got this training. As far as myself, I'm seeing that I can accomplish more things than I, than I ever thought I could before. I don't think that, they sh that any clerical worker should be afraid to start out in a venture. Um, if she has to go to class or he has to go to class or whatever, to get out into a, a different field, I think they should go ahead and start because it's not that difficult. If they want to um, attempt it, that's, you know, they just have to get after themselves and go after it. And that's all there is to it. Well, if you want to get out of the same old rut and get into something different, I've really enjoyed my experiences so far. And uh, give it a try. If you're interested, try it. You know, that's the only way you're going to find out. I would say if they're bored with what they're doing and they think they might like to change to something else, give it a try. Don't be afraid of it because um, it'll work out. I've, I've, one thing I've noticed out here is these, the people out here, even though we're trainees, I, they are really terrific. They've been so nice about uh, giving us a helping hand, giving us some advice and all of these things. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's just been a marvelous experience just to meet the people. If a person knows what they want to do, I would say stick with that rather than, you know, having that goal but trying to get ahead in another area for the money or something like that. I would say, you know, go to the area that they want to work in and find out what they can do toward that goal. years ago, but uh, if, if you have uh, um, dreams of being in something else, don't be afraid to try it. And that's what these programs do, is open up that world to women. And uh, if I had ch uh, daughters, I would tell them, go for, be what you want. You don't have to be a teacher, a nurse, if you've got a degree. If you're not, you're into clerical or factory worker. I don't think that's true. And if it's factory worker with a fine point like a machinist, if you want to be that, and it's going to for you anyway, go for it. If uh, there's nothing stopping you now, the world is open. And uh, be what you want to be.
it hasn't really changed me. It's just brought me so much closer to my goal that I feel really good about myself being, you know, achieving that. I want a job that I'd be happy working at.